What is up, everybody? It's me, Scraw. Welcome to Oak Element Associates. Uh, fair warning on this video, there will be spoilers for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, with that being said, while people are signing off to avoid spoilers, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get started. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing the new status conditions, Drowsy and Frostbite, and how they would impact VGC if implemented into a main series Pokemon game in the future. To start, let's take a look at Frostbite. Uh, when a Pokemon has Frostbite, its special attack is cut in half, and it takes 1 16th of its health as damage, just like Burn. Uh, Frostbite is basically Burn for special attackers, which is a huge deal. Uh, for a long time, VGC's special attackers have had a pretty important advantage over physical attackers, because physical attackers had to contend with Intimidate and Burn. Special attackers only had to deal with stuff like Eerie, Impulse, and Snarl, which is way more niche. So Frostbite really changes that gap, really closes that gap up. Uh, something important to note with Frostbite is it's not only getting a new status condition, uh, it's taking Freeze out of the game. Freeze is kind of broken, and you can't because you can't really play around or build around it. So I don't think Freeze leaving is a, something anybody's really getting complain about. I know I'm not. Pokemon with access to Ice Beam and Blizzard get a pretty big buff from Frostbite. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is Suicune. According to Cerebi, Ice Beam's going to have a 20% chance to inflict Frostbite under normal conditions. So the idea of like a really bulky Pokemon like Suicune having a 30% chance to burn physical attackers with Scald, and a 20% chance for Frostbite to hit people with Ice Beam, something to run like Snarl or something like that, seems really good to me. Other Pokemon that come to mind with this are like Alola Ninetales, Vanellix, any of like the fast, fragile Blizzard users. Because Blizzard's going to have a 30% chance to cause Frostbite. So if any of these like really aggressive Mons don't kill what they're going after, you know, you go for your, your choice Scarfed Blizzard with Vanellix or whatever, and then it dies. Uh, with a 30% chance on each Pokemon, it's more likely than not you're going to get a Frostburn off somewhere in there. Uh, so... <sighs> This is pretty good to me. I'm really a big fan of Frostbite. Uh, I think it transfer. I think the transfer to the main series games will be really good. Uh, it's a nice way to balance out physical and special attackers, and give a new tool to Ice types. So it's and get rid of a kind of broken mechanic. So it's really hitting two birds with one stone. Three birds actually. <laughs> uh, next, let's look at Drowsy. So Drowsy's going to replace Sleep if it's implemented, uh, giving the affected Pokémon a chance not to move on for its turn. I'm pretty sure we don't know the exact odds yet, but I think it's pretty safe to assume it's 1 in 3, just like Paralysis. Drowsy also makes the sleepy Pokémon take extra damage. Once again, I'm fairly certain we don't know the exact multiplier here, so it's hard to evaluate. There's a lot of stuff we don't know about Drowsy. So, I'm not going to say too much, I'll make two points, basically. Uh, Drowsy replacing Sleep makes Pokémon like Amoongus, who rely on Spore or Sleep Powder, as they're providing, like, proactive, uh, proactive, I'm sorry, uh, pressure significantly worse. Because even assuming the multiplier on damage is double, Spore and Sleep Powder won't be able to do things like they do right now, like punish Trick Room users. I think Spore is one of the most consistent ways to stop Trick Room, you have to run some pretty dedicated stuff to stop it. That's why Moongus isn't a good option to deal with Trick Room Mons right now. Now, the thing that might be a buff or a nerf, we don't know yet, uh, is how it's going to interact with Rest. Uh, if the damage with the player on Drowsy is like 10%, it might be a big buff to Rest. Uh, but if it's a lot, it won't be so big of a buff. What I'm thinking is Pokemon like Snorlax or other defensive Pokemon who don't have other good recovery options. Uh, the ability to, t to rest, heal up, and thanks to your bulky stats, not care too much about the 10% uh, damage increase, that'd be really strong. But if it's something like 50% or 30%, probably worse than it is now. The other upside to this over the old uh, the old way people would do this was we probably wouldn't have to play like Chesto Resto or Lumberry or anything like that. Uh, but I don't know, but Drowsy's permanent, so it might end up being worse in a long game. And since VGC games usually last four, five, six turns, I don't. I think it would be a buff unless it's somewhere between a 30 and 50 percent damage multiplier on rest on a on drowsy, I should say. Uh, that's really all I have to say about 
these two things. Uh, I'm really excited about Frostbite. I really don't think we have enough information for yet. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content where I give my super unqualified takes on things that plenty of other people are making videos about uh, that know that are way more experienced than I am, let me know. <laughs> uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you feel about Drowsy and Frostbite, and I'll be back soon with another video.